This is the Three Gorges Dam, renowned as the most formidable dam globally due to its sheer power. Think about its immense scale, and then envision something twice its size. Remarkably, it is not China, America, Japan, or Australia planning such a colossal endeavor. The nation spearheading this groundbreaking initiative, aiming to construct a mega dam capable of energizing nearly half a continent, is none other than the Democratic Republic of the Congo. If this project realizes, Africa will be home to the newest most powerful mega dam in the world, breaking all current records. In today's video we will delve into Africa's upcoming $80 billion mega dam and discuss all the fascinating details about it. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. In terms of geographical expanse, the Democratic Republic of Congo or DRC stands as the second largest country in Africa. Housing a population of 95 million people, it boasts a remarkable array of wildlife, including elephants and chimpanzees. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is occasionally confused with its neighbor, the Republic of the Congo. Despite this, both nations share commonalities, French is the official language in both, and Christianity stands as the predominant religion. Notably, both countries derive their names from the Congo River, which acts as a natural boundary between them. There are no bridges across the river, unveiling two distinct cities, Brazzaville in the Republic of the Congo and Kinshasa in the DRC. These neighboring capital cities hold the title of being the closest pair worldwide. Although there are intentions to construct a $400 million bridge connecting the two cities across the river, this ambitious project has yet to commence. Despite being one of the largest rivers globally, the Congo River often doesn't receive the attention it merits. When discussions turn to massive rivers, the Nile, Yangtze, or Amazon usually take the spotlight, given their greater length. However, the Congo's significance lies in its depth, making it the deepest river globally. Plummeting to 200 meters below the surface at its deepest point, the Congo's depth surpasses that of other prominent rivers. The Congo River also commands attention due to its substantial discharge, representing the volume of water coursing through it every second. Notably, the Congo's discharge surpasses that of neighboring Nile by tenfold, outstrips China's Yangtze by one and a half times, though it still falls short compared to the Amazon, which reigns supreme in this aspect. Yet, the most remarkable facet of the Congo River remains unexplored. Welcome to Inga Falls, located a short distance downstream from Brazzaville and Kinshasa, encompassing a 15-kilometer stretch where the water cascades nearly 100 meters. This descent creates an expansive zone of formidable swiftly moving water. While technically the world's largest waterfall, the classification is contentious. Some argue that the Inga Falls lack the steepness characteristic of traditional waterfalls, Regardless of its classification, the Inga Falls represents the most extensive and powerful stretch of white water globally. The force of the fast-moving water surging through this section is immense, holding considerable potential energy in the realm of hydroelectric dams. Experts estimate that the Inga Falls could yield almost 40 gigawatts of energy. To put this in perspective, it's nearly 50 times the current energy consumption of the entire population of the DRC and sufficient to supply power to several other African nations. The discourse around Inga's potential has persisted for over a century, stemming from a survey that identified the Congo as possessing more than one-fourth of the world's potential water power in the early 1900s. In the 1950s, Belgium laid out plans to dam the Inga but had to abandon them when the DRC gained independence. Despite this setback, the concept of harnessing the Inga Falls for energy production endured. Fast forward a few years, and the newly established government of the DRC initiated the construction of a six-turbine dam known as Inga 1. Subsequently, an eight-turbine dam, Inga 2, was commissioned. Together, these dams boasted a collective capacity of nearly 2 gigawatts, providing essential power to key industries such as copper mines in the southern part of the country. 
However, Inga 1 and 2 merely scratched the surface of the immense potential of the Inga Falls. Positioned on a side stream rather than the robust main body of water, they harnessed less than 5% of Inga's overall capability. That was half a century ago, and today, the capacity of the Inga dams has dwindled even further. Inga 1 and 2 have succumbed to degradation over time, and the DRC faces significant challenges in maintaining them due to prohibitively high costs. Currently, Inga 1 and 2 show no immediate signs of collapse, but their operational capacity has dwindled to a mere 30% of their original generation potential. In recent years, various plans have been proposed to revitalize these dams, with commitments from some international companies. Additionally, there's a proposition to construct a third dam, Inga 3, with the potential to generate an additional 4.5 gigawatts. However, these initiatives pale in comparison to the groundbreaking proposal the government has in store for the Congo River, the Grand Inga Dam. The Inga Falls possess the capability to generate 40 gigawatts of energy, over 20 times the current combined capacity of Inga 1 and 2. The Grand Inga Dam represents an ambitious plan to harness every drop of this immense potential. The envisioned plan unfolds as follows. Initially, a colossal barrier will be erected at the southern extremity of the Bundy Valley, running parallel to the Inga Falls. This 200-meter-long barrier will function like a plug at the base of a bath, equipped with six distinct power stations. Each of these stations will house hydroelectric turbines with the capacity to generate between 4 and 8 gigawatts of power. Subsequently, another barrier will be constructed at the summit of the Inga Falls, redirecting the rapids flow into the Bundy Valley, essentially filling it like an enormous tub. As the water reaches the southern wall of the valley, gravity will propel it through the turbines of the six power plants, collectively generating a staggering 40 gigawatts of power. While redirecting rivers into artificial reservoirs for power generation has been done several times before, the Grand Inga stands out due to its unprecedented size. Surpassing the Three Gorges Dam, which currently holds the title as the most powerful dam globally, the Grand Inga would generate more than twice the amount of power. The transformative impact of the Grand Inga Dam on the African continent could be profound, particularly in addressing the issue of nearly 50% of the population lacking access to electricity. However, the staggering construction costs associated with such a colossal dam are estimated to be around $80 billion, surpassing the DRC's annual GDP by a significant margin. This prompts a crucial question, can the DRC financially undertake this monumental project independently? The answer is likely negative. Considering the country's challenges in maintaining the existing Inga dams, let alone embarking on the construction of a project as extensive as the Grand Inga. Nevertheless, the feasibility of the project gains traction when considering the potential for foreign investment. As highlighted earlier, the Grand Inga could serve as a source of electrical energy for various regions in Africa. Several countries, including South Africa and Nigeria, have already expressed official interest in contributing funds for a share of the power generated by the Grand Inga, making the realization of the project more plausible with international support. There's a proposition that individual foreign investors could fund each of the dam's six power plants in exchange for ownership of the respective facility. Notably, prominent financial institutions such as the World Bank, the European Investment Bank, and the African Development Bank have expressed their willingness to contribute funds to the project. Additionally, the support of the African Union, which aims to foster cooperation among African nations, has been garnered by the DRC. Despite these collaborative efforts, there are no certainties. Even if these partnerships manage to secure the required $80 billion, there's still the looming uncertainty that it may not suffice to complete the dam. Historically, many dams have exceeded their initial cost projections, with some even doubling in expenses. This potential scenario implies that the Grand Inga Dam might end up costing closer to $160 billion, highlighting the financial complexities and uncertainties associated with such massive infrastructure projects. Beyond financial concerns, 
There are other significant issues to address, such as the relocation of over 30,000 local villagers residing in the Bundy Valley. The construction of the dam is also poised to have severe environmental repercussions, posing a threat to crucial local species, including vulnerable populations of bonobos. This prompts a complex ethical dilemma. Even if the DRC manages to secure the funds for the dam, is it ethically justifiable to proceed with its construction? The ethical considerations involve weighing the displacement of local communities and environmental damage against the potential to provide a sustainable and green energy source to millions of people in Africa. Balancing these competing priorities requires careful deliberation and consideration of the broader societal and ecological impacts. What are your thoughts on the construction of the Grand Inga Dam? Leave a reply in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.